I like TV shows. Do you like TV shows? Mm -hmm. Good. But you know what's better than TV shows? It's when you take two of them and make it one thing. So I've got two wheels here. One containing a bunch of comedy shows and one containing uh, some darker shows. You might argue Always Sunny belongs on the second list, but it doesn't. So I'm going to spin the first wheel and then spin the second wheel and then mash the two shows together in Photoshop and it should be fun. And the first show is... Community! Sick. Walking Dead? Walking Dead! Alright, we've got some Jeff Winger zombies. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I definitely want to put the community characters in the Walking Dead universe, as opposed to the other way around. I think this will do nicely. Perfect. So I'm going to put someone's face onto Rick. I don't know who yet. And then maybe a bunch of characters on the zombie faces. I need kind of a sideways shot. Alright, this one's too sideways, but I like how creepy it is. I'm going to try this one. Looks like he could have seen a zombie or two. Let's cut his face out. Perfect. Wait, that actually almost works immediately. His head is a little big. Fix his air a little bit. Desaturate a little bit. Add some shadows. And, oh, not like that. It's actually not bad, you know. All right, this is a young woman right here. It's gonna be Annie. Oh, this photo is kind of perfect. That's a zombie face. Do I keep the hair? I'm not sure. Wait, <laughs> no, I'm tempted to make her the horse. Uh, that, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, it's pretty nice. Adjust the hue and saturation and it might look convincing. Then I can kind of just remove some of her skin and let the zombie skin come through. Uh, that looks okay. This is still an option. This guy is our bed. This photo is kind of creepy, so I'm gonna use it. The thing is, this is a very low quality image, but kind of matches. Right, well that's convincing. Okay, let's color correct it a little bit. Gonna add some shading. It's disturbing how unnatural this looks, but at least it's disturbing. I wanna put this picture of Troy in the foreground. He's, a, he's, he's just trying to survive. But the man with the horse is coming his way with a lot of zombies. I think we can use some remove background on this. Will it work? That did not work. Okay, he's cut out. Does this make sense proportionally? No. I'm uh, just going to lightly soften the edges. One more thing. Got to add Pierce to one of these guys. This is a good expression. I definitely have to flip that. Ah, it fits beautifully. Make him a little more yellow. Needs a bit of shading. I think I should do the horse thing. It actually blends into the hair quite well. It's like a Billie Eilish look. Ooh, I'm going to put Britta's dead decapitated head on the floor. Okay, that can go right about there. Flip it. Nope, the other way. Obviously, we need some blood. That looks terrible, obviously. So, let's fix it. There is a problem. The checkerboard from the PNG is still there. I'm just gonna erase some of that and it might look okay. That looks terrible, but I'm gonna call it done. We go again. Modern Family. What are these guys going to be getting up to? Is that the boys or str it's Stranger Things? Okay. Stranger Family. Modern Things. I gotta find a really nasty Stranger Things screenshot. Maybe in the upside down. This is a pretty good background. It's kind of a cool shot, but I don't know if it'll work. Alright, let's try this one. Gotta remove the background. It should be doable. Now I just have to clean up the edges. Alright, Eleven can be Haley. I think I want to keep the bow. That almost works. And then next to her is Alex. Gotta hide this hair. Now these two gotta be Joe and Luke. Uh, I don't know about him though. We have to use early Luke because that's, that's where the good expressions are. Oh, it's a match made in heaven. And then Joe's just happy to be there. That's kind of unsettling. I'll put Lily at the back. She is smiling at this situation, which I think is in character. I should also put Manny in there somewhere. Perfect. 
Okay, now I gotta do all the adults. It's a good Phil and Jay screenshot. Then my camera died, so here's the time lapse. But basically what I'm doing is cutting and placing each character, and then adding some lighting and coloring effects, and just trying to make it all blend together smoothly. Well, I think that looks a lot better than the first one, so hopefully the third one is even better. But let's spin the wheel. The office, huh? Oh, Squid Game, yes! <sighs> I gotta find like a really iconic Squid Game scene. I mean, the posters are pretty good shot. I want this, but with the whole doll, but without the Squid Game title. Alright, I'm just gonna use this shot and paste a bunch of faces onto faces, and then do something else, maybe. Actually, this is a pretty good face. The top of his head is cut off a little bit, but I can work with that. Should I just delete Michael's hair? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's the one. So I guess 218 would make sense as Dwight. Honestly, they kind of look similar already. Seamless. Kind of already blends into the neck, but I will adjust the colors anyway. Probably make his head a little smaller. Oh, I really want to replace the doll at the back with a uh, a reception desk. Could that work? Not really. All right, 67 is gonna be Pam. Use that one. I'm not sure you can still tell it's Pam. <laughs> I'm gonna put Jim over here and uh, Kevin over there. That looks horrifying. Yep, that's Jim. Could this be the perfect face? That'll do nicely. Perfect. My man Ali is gonna become Oscar. Could I just leave it like that? I'd have to make his head more squat. I'm gonna have to get rid of Ali's head somehow. Clone stamp. Perfect. I should put the uh, Dunder Mifflin logo on the shirt. That'd be fun. Okay, hopefully the spot healing tool can do this. And it kind of can. I wanna put a bunch of paper flying everywhere, but that depends if I can find a good picture of it. This doesn't look easily maskable. Oh, but this does. I think I'll blur the paper. Oh, one of these pink guys should be Daryl. This is like the most high def photo out of every one I got, but it's gonna be three pixels. Is he gonna be inside the hood or not? He can be inside the hood. You can't even tell who that is. I just had a good idea. Gotta remove this hand. I think I'm just gonna try and blend it all together now. Well, I guess that's not the worst edit in the world. Uh, that was quite fun. I think if I do this again, I will do a better job. So let me know if you want to see this again with other shows. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.